Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is your weekly energy report for the week of, let's see, May 10th to the 17th of 2023. Now, I realize that I haven't been um, super consistent. I've been moving around and, and uh, stepping into a lot of change in my life. So, um, you know, I uh, get on here when I can and sharing this information with you in every way that, um, you know, I can make myself available. So, and I'm sure there's a lot of change going on in your life with uh, with all these aspects and things coming on. The universe is really pushing us into um, this new chapter in our life. And it's really making us sort of step up. There's no more will room, right? And this is all about facing our fears. This week is a big week. Um, and, you know, we had this big, huge eclipse season that set us into this new place. And now that we're in this eclipse, this eclipse season, at least the beginning part, is going to be different in that. Um, we have a lot of aspects that are crossing over the point, particularly with the solar eclipse, um, because we have so much energy. What, what's up, Crystal? How you doing? Good to see you on here. Um, we have uh, a lot of activity going on right around the 29 degree of Aries into Taurus. And especially what's really, really big that's coming up here uh, this next week is this big uh, T-square with between Jupiter, Pluto, and Mars. Now, Mars this week is going to be getting up to 26 degrees of uh, Cancer. And of course, after that, next week, it's going to be moving into the exact place that's going to oppose Pluto and square Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is coming into 29th degree and then, of course, to zero degrees of Taurus. So it's going to be crossing that threshold where the solar eclipse happened while it's squaring uh, Pluto exactly. And, of course, it's going to be squaring Mars exactly with the nodes right there as well. You know, we have we have um, destiny that is calling us in a very deep way. When I made my my yearly video, I talked about how this year we're going to see a lot of mental health issues um, coming to the surface because at this point, we have no more room to avoid any parts of ourselves that we're not being honest with ourselves about, right? So, and this is going to manifest itself through the emotional into the physical, right? Every physical imbalance at the very core underneath it is a physical is is an emotional um imbalance or something emotional that we don't want to look at that we've been avoiding and we've had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to look at this to be honest with ourselves so if you're not feeling like it's a fuck yes it's going to be a fuck no okay and so you know i've 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 talked to a lot of people here in this last week a lot of a lot of clients, a lot of um, you know situations where people are feeling lost, stuck. They don't know what's going on. They're trying to figure this all out. Look, the last thing you want to try to do right now is figure it out because there is nothing to figure out. The fact is, the only thing that there is to figure out is that there's something that you're not looking at within yourself. It's all internal, right? And with Pluto being an Aquarius, this is showing us a preview of uh, this is coming into an extroverted season so we need to go out into the world we need to go out there and own our life so you know if you're making there's i see a lot of light workers especially a lot of star seeds that are that are like getting wrapped up in all this confusion about well, i need to figure this out i need to eat even with astrology right astrology is not a tool that's gonna that's gonna tell you who you are Astrology is a navigation system that that if looked at from within shows us the possibilities, what's the light in the darkness or where are we at so that we can grow, face it and move through it. But you still got to do the work right now. It's a time to take action. And Jupiter coming into Taurus with all this Taurus energy, it's all about the simple stuff. It's all about wanting and taking action on getting the better things in life. But here's the thing. It's all dependent upon your level of self-worth and self-confidence. That's what Taurus really represents, right? What are our morals, our, value, our values, our ethics? And are you getting caught up in the distraction of the outside world that's telling you who you are as opposed to you going within and being honest with yourself about who you are and what you want? You know, uh, literally, like I've, I've, I've talked to, you know, people that they're like, you know, I'm, I'm looking for answers from the universe, right? And then... I give them some guidance and it's like, they didn't even hear my guidance. Like, well, when, when the, uh, when the answer comes, I'll know. Well, the universe just gave you an answer through someone 
and you're still like, no, that's not it because it's not what you want to hear. Okay. So you got to really be brutally honest with yourself. If you're not in a place where it's like shit's moving, shit's flowing, things are, things are happening in a flowy kind of way, but each step you're going to have to face yourself. You're going to have to move into looking at yourself in a new way that, Hey, I can do this, right? I can handle this. I can see this. I can create this. It's because you're passionately connected to it. You're passionately involved. You've ha you have a feeling of purpose. If you're just going around escaping, I've seen a lot of people doing this escapism shit. You got to get away from that. Like you might get this, this, um, this limiting or short burst of, uh, you know, experience where the pressure feels like it's off. But once you get back into real life, it's going to be more intense and deeper. Right. Um, <laughs> thanks poetic i appreciate you i do i do my best to keep it you know to keep it uh to keep it looking nice and structured because you know i'm a capricorn so i like that shit <laughs> thank you um so with jupiter coming into taurus guys this is like you know it's coming it's going to conjunct the north node our our destiny is calling us screaming at us in our face because here's what's going to happen right the lower vibration entities that are that are trying to keep us controlled, they're 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 trying to keep us in this karmic loop, in this cycle where it's like you need something outside of yourself to take care of you. They're already building up these 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 camps, these places. They're not going to call it a camp, right? But this is exactly what the Nazis did back in the day, and we have to be very careful because this is all mind control, mind game shit, right? Um, <laughs> uh, so. So it, we're, we're going to go one of two ways. And this is where like the next level of the split is coming into play in the, in, in the world. But, you know, if you're in the United States, you know, like we're dealing with a lot of, you know, upheaval um, in the belief systems uh, of society. Right. So whatever your personal values, morals and ethics are to make the world a better place, at least it's either you want to make the world a better place or you're getting caught up in all your own drama and all your crap. And you're going to have to, you're either going to get caught up in all the ways that they're trying to keep you controlled, or you're going to control your own emotions and honor and own your own emotions and step into it like a boss. This is this is no time to sit around and wait for external things to come in because the external things that are going to come in are going to be control dynamics. Okay. And we don't want to, and we, and the last thing we want to do is be caught up in the control dynamics because that is going to be pure hell. Right. <laughs> Thanks poetic. I appreciate you. Um, and so we, we, we have some pretty significant energies coming through that are, are really like, you know, no bullshit, like, uh, you know, coming like, Life is sort of like, you know, just staring us in the face and our, and our truth is asking us to acknowledge it. So you got to be really, really honest with yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop trying to figure it all out. You're never going to figure anything out right now. It's not about analysis. All right. It's about feeling into it. So if there's something that you're afraid of, you got to feel it. You got to go into it. That is the only work that you have to do right now. And as you do that, you will get the clarity, you'll get the answers, you'll get the, the, the release of the weight that's on your soul, because our soul is merging with our, 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 our higher self is merging with our lower self right now, right? So the higher version of the ego's individuation is now, of course, you know, the, the individuation is Aries, right? So Jupiter coming to the end where the, where the solar eclipse was with the square to Pluto and the square to Mars it's like, what are you going to do to step out in the world and make the world a better place, right? You may not know what's on the other side of that fear, but you have to be okay with that because really what's on the other side of fear is freedom. It's faith. It's trust. It's deepening your belief system and what you know to be true for you. It has to be true for you. If it's not your truth, then you're following the societal truth, which is going to lead you down a path that you don't want to be. And they're ramping this up. I mean, we're going to see... Um, you know, mental health facilities. We're going to see a lot of people just losing it. You can see it on the news and shit right now. I don't really watch it, but, you know, it's clear. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. But if you talk to people in person, people that are living their truth and doing well, you're not paying attention to that shit and really good things are happening. So, you know, 
even, you know, things for me in my life, like I've had a lot of unexpected twists and turns, but those are the things I had to face because I know that I believe I deserve to have the best, right? So because I believe that universe has guided me and taught me lessons. Okay. I need to learn, uh, it, you know, um, some self-worth, self-confidence things over here. I need to learn how to own my power over there, not give my power away over here. And now that that's going on, the decisions don't get easier, right? We just get more certain, more clear about who we are and what we want. And that's what Taurus is really all about. So as Jupiter comes in, it's going to be in Taurus for a year. And it's going to conjunct Uranus, okay? Because it's going to conjunct Uranus and Taurus, all right? That's going to be like the zip that pops. And that's not going to happen until next year. But right now is the opportunity for us all to build something, to create something that we're passionate about, that we love, and that we value um, to come together and bring this new world into place. But, you know, we can still, we can go either way, all right? Especially in about two years when Saturn and, and Neptune come into Aries. That's it, man. That's that's all she wrote. Shit's going to get, you know, shit's going to look real gnarly on the darker, more fear-based side of things, but it's going to look like heaven on earth on the faith and the higher vibrational side of things, okay? Now, we also have Neptune that just came into 27 degrees, in fact, today. So with Neptune now at 27 degrees, we haven't seen this since right before the Civil War, right? Um, this is where, like, you know, shit gets weird. The illusion, disillusionment, especially with Saturn there now. There's, there, we're, putting, we're either putting structure to our disillusion or we're putting structure to our faith in our dreams. Now, this is also where, like, cults and, like, religious extremism and things like that can start to show up when people don't know who they are. So, you, so the work right now, and of course, this is going to be consistent. And, and, and the most important thing for moving to the future is doing the inner work because it's all, all the inner stuff is now expressing itself outside of us. Okay. And because it's expressing itself outside of us, if there's things that are going wrong in life, it's because there's something that is triggering some growth potentiation within you. Right. So, this is where, like, you know, if you are feeling lost, you need to talk to someone. You need to connect. You need, like, it, if you're feeling lost, then you probably don't really have good people, good friends, good support system in your life. And we all need that support system. And that is what, you know, the people that are in alignment, they're naturally creating. Okay? So connect. Connect to people that seem to have their shit together. If you don't, that you feel like you can trust. And even if you feel like you can't trust, it's because there's someone within you that you're not trusting. Okay, this all the external is a direct reflection of everything that's going on on the internal. And we're going to start to see dis-ease ramping up in people because the emotional suppression is now expressing itself in the physical body more and more and more. Now, the good thing is, is that there are so many new ways of healing, of of clearing out trauma and of, you know, like evolving to that next place to clear out all that gunk. Those things are popping up left and right and everywhere. So there's so many opportunities and potentials to be able to heal and to, you know, connect to that higher level of ourselves. Now, we also just had the sun uh, Uranus conjunction. Um, you know, each year we have that once. And that's a lot of unexpected. It's, it's, it's bringing up to a new level all these unexpected twists and turns. So, you know, like it's and it's hitting us viscerally very, very deeply. You may be having a lot of weird dreams, a lot of weird sensations in the body. You know, like physical health is so, so important. And it's also a reflection of our emotional health. Okay. Um, so we're also going to have Mercury going direct this week. And it's going to be retrograding to um, five degrees. And it's going to go direct on the 15th, I believe. Uh, yeah. So that's just two degrees away from the North Node. So we're getting these messages. We know. We know. You're just going to be honest with about the knowing. Right. So if deep in your mind, you're, you're, you're doing something you're like, man, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Right. Like, I know this isn't good for me, but just this one more time. We're, this is an addiction, addiction to distraction. OK. And Jupiter square square Mars alone is like is like I got to take action. But but if you're not being true to yourself, you have a million different directions that you could take action on. But you don't really know where to go. Right. Because as this process, this threshold, now Jupiter and Taurus, it's a very grounded energy. It's 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 very slow. It's very like very one step at a time. It can be it can feel very heavy if we're not in alignment with, you know, with who we're meant to be. And of course, Pluto, 
you know, is still moving very, very slow. It just went retrograde. It's going to be in Aquarius for the rest of the month, but then it's going to go back into Capricorn. So that's going to, this next year, guys, especially this, this eclipse cycle, um, <clears throat> is going to, is going to be just throwing shit in our face constantly, nonstop. And this can be a very good time, a very productive time, right? Um, also, uh, <clears throat> you know, we have, we have Mars coming to the end of Cancer, which is going to be nice. Once it goes into Leo, that's going to be, you know, we're going to be feeling like on fire, ready to move. But you need to have that solidified direction. You need to have the understanding of um, where you want to go. So this is the perfect time, especially before the Taurus new moon. The Taurus new moon is going to happen on the, uh, on the let's see, it's going to happen next week, um, on the 19th. Okay, and that's right around the same time that, you know, Jupiter's at zero degrees, exactly squaring to Pluto. And then we have, we have uh, Mars at 29 degrees during that, during that new moon um, that is coming into zero degrees. So with all this zero degree energy with the nodes right there at three degrees coming into its last degree, it's, it's going to finish up in July, which is going to be the sort of the last finalizing point of this Taurus energy learning about self-worth and self-confidence. So the time to do the work is now. The time, I mean, the time has been for the last 18 months, but this is where belief systems will be fully solidified. And this new identity, this new individuation of our ego is going to be sort of set in stone. And it starts another 18 month cycle of really giving us this certain frequency of direction where we're going to go. And that there's still trauma that's that that's buried in there that, that you've refused to look at. And you're going to go into some pretty intense, pretty pretty nasty, um, you know, karmic lessons that, cause the karmic wheel can still come around. All right. If you haven't cleared and you're not actively practicing and taking action on the healed version of yourself. So if you're still walking around and these opportunities are coming in and you're getting triggered, right. And you're walking away from it. You need to address that trigger. Now it's not the other person. It's not, it's not the outside world. That is a problem. All right. It's and I'm not a problem is sort of subjective, right? But it's a situation where the universe is showing you like real time, no bullshit. This is what you need to look at if you want to stop being triggered. And there shouldn't be any triggers per se. It should be like, okay, I gotta feel this. It's not gonna feel good, but I'm going to accept it. We have to accept our life as to where it's at and move through it and move forward. And each time we move through a trigger, each time we we find the lesson within the self from the trigger, we don't project it onto someone else. We have a little win and we gain some and we gain a little bit of confidence. And that confidence is going to help us step up to the next place. But stop being so dedicated to looking for the specific answer or response that your ego wants. The ego is very strong right now. 29 degrees of Aries is you know like that's that's the old part of the ego that's supposed to be dying off and as it comes into taurus it's getting solidified right so don't allow the triggers or the projection from the triggers to rule your life because it's gonna get fucking nasty honestly if you keep doing that and this is where you know like it's time to get help it's time to seek out support um if you uh it, you know if you find yourself continue because these karmic loops are going to speed up faster and faster and faster because you know the, the the higher dimensional energy is taking over and there's you know it's being built right now all over the place people are creating you know new sustainable type housing there's there's new kinds of soil being made that's high in micronutrients there's new there there's people that want to create sustainable stuff and taking care of mother earth and you know like helping people grow and create community over again instead of all this isolation that the all it's it's all the um the uh the introverted aspects of our consciousness the part of us that wants to hide away and 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 not confront or face anything it's the internal confrontation that is being mirrored to us on the outside that is feeling very uncomfortable okay so face the discomfort within the self be kind and compassionate on the external and when you do that and you let down your guard, this is about really um, a deeper level of vulnerability, a deeper level of authenticity. And that is where you're going to find your true purpose. And all because really this ascension process that we're in right now, 
there is no like opening up your heart 70%, 80%. This is going all the way. We're opening up our heart 100%. And that's even clearing out all our past life stuff. And clearing out the heart 100%, that's where all the fear lies, right? That's where all the all the suppressed stuff from our ancestors all the way up until this lifetime are showing themselves because we chose to come down here to feel and face this stuff, right? So this T-square is going to be, it, it's it's going to take the, the, the eclipse energy and ramp it up even more, right? And as the eclipse energy ramps up even more, it's going to get more and more uncomfortable. And then this new moon in Taurus is like, all right, and depending on where it's at in your chart, this is like, all right, new chapter, time to move, time to go. And things are going to come at you faster and faster and faster. And it's going to hit deeper and deeper and deeper, right? So allow the energy to guide you through each step of confrontation that's internal. And when you address the, when you address the trigger that's in the confrontational energy within you, and you move through it without projecting, that is where the winds are. Now, I'm not going to lie. We're going to see a lot of people going crazy. Like I just saw something, a, an old friend of mine um, was killed by her boyfriend like last week in, in Las Vegas. And, um, you know, we're seeing people just lose their shit, right? Jump, getting on drugs. And, and now when I say drugs, I'm talking about meth and heroin and, you know, like all the, you know, all that crap that's, you know, out there in the world that is is not medicine you know like of course i'm a i'm a i'm a firm believer um i'm a firm believer in you know ayahuasca and bufo and combo those medicines open up the consciousness and i believe that those are not in the same class as drugs that suppress your consciousness and help you escape right and create like those ad addictive you know nature capacities but um you know with mercury coming to the end of its retrograde and conjunct the north node we're getting all these signals with the North Node, like, hey, step into your future, step into the unknown, get uncomfortable. And, and because on the uh, a great example is all the all the migrants that are trying to make their way in over the border when Title 42 ends. Right. Title 42 is ending right at the same time. They ended the COVID thing. That's no coincidence. Right. We have hundreds of thousands of people and these people, they up and left whatever they had going on there. And they're stepping in the unknown. They have no idea what the hell is going to happen, but they just know that I got to do this. I got to get there. And that's the same passion. That's the same drive. Like, fuck the past. I'm going in the future. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I just feel this feeling. It's when you don't trust that feeling. It's when you don't trust that passionate. I just got to do this. I just got to make it happen. Right. That's the feeling that is a driving force for everything right now for this next 20 years with Pluto and Aquarius. It's about getting out there into the world meeting new people, discovering new parts of yourself through other people, through community, through through stepping in the direction of the unknown. And let that teach you, let that guide you, let let that mold you because you're going to you're going to end up becoming a new version of yourself. All right? There's also Saturn, uh, you know, in a new, you know, 28 year cy uh, cycle. Um the last time it was here was in uh, 1993 1994. Where you were at then? I know I, I I was thinking about this um uh, the the other day and I realized for me when when Saturn went into Pisces last time was when I went to foster care and that's when I started smoking weed I was 14 years old and I'll I'll never forget the first time I smoked weed I was you know I I went on a uh, I I grew up in Massachusetts and uh you know back in the day back in my day uh, we used to call it going for a bone cruise right you know a bunch of people hop in the car and you know let him a joint and just drive around listen to pink floyd or nirvana or whatever it is that we were listening to and i remember i'm smoking it and I'm, I'm in the back seat 14 you know i didn't know what the hell i was doing i was in a new place i just moved a half hour away from everything that i ever knew going to a new school new people and so i just want to be cool right so i'm smoking this thing and i'm like dude i don't feel anything i don't feel anything and um i think we smoked like two joints it would be between three of us and by the time i think like the fourth or fifth i think we we're listening to pink floyd by, by the time the third or fourth song came on, suddenly it was like, wah, 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 wah. And uh, this big shitty grin came up in my face. And I got the Chinese, you know, the, the Chinese eyes. Like, I think I feel something. <laughs> I was just giggling like a stupid little idiot. And we got home. I, I, I had just moved into my, to my foster home, I think like a week before that. And we got home, me and my foster brother, he had been there for like three years. And, uh, and he had done this many times. 
So we had this little like man cave or teenager cave, whatever you want to call it, in the garage, right? We just sit out there, smoke cigarettes, and you know, just hang out, and do teenage things. Um, we went in there and uh, we're like, okay, so foster parents are going to know that we're high, so we got to create a disguise to get past them so they they won't know. Now I'm a fucking idiot. I'm listening to this guy, which is also a fucking idiot. And we found this bottle of hair gel on the table. And we both squirted a bunch of hair gel and put it all over our face. Like, okay, that's going to help us not look high. Like, are you fucking retarded? <laughs> so I, uh, so we like put our heads down and we just like booked it into our room past, uh, past my foster mother. I mean, they clearly had to know. They had to know what the hell was going on. And we were just giggling like two little freaking schoolgirls in the room all night long. Um, and chain smoking cigarettes and just, and I don't even know what we talked about, but, um, it, you know, from that until, you know, now I went through a long period, of course I was in the military for 10 years, so I didn't do any, you know, drugs or anything, but, I did, but, you know, I drank during that time, even though I didn't really like drinking, it was just cause everybody else was doing it. It's like, fuck it, you know, my, might as well. But, you know, in that 30 year karmic time frame, I like to be outside of my sober consciousness and now i find that my body is responding different and i don't i don't i like i want to be sober and i don't want to i i don't want to be under the influence of anything even even plant medicines like i'm good right um i may still serve you know other people because that's part of my mission i feel is to you know like i connect with the medicine i help people clear shit out but i have no desire whereas before you know i still had desire to you know be in a different, you know, state of consciousness, even though if it wasn't hard stuff, you know, like I was always more into psychedelics, but you know, like that Saturn period of time is over, it's done. And now it's time for me to stay present and to stay sober and to help other people that are struggling to be with themselves in its entirety, because that is the problem in one way or another, we distract ourselves from being fully present all the time. So we have to learn and, and all the work, the deep work that I've done on myself is really come down to learning how to come back to myself, face my triggers, face my fears and allow myself to be fully me and accept myself fully 100%. And I had a lot of karma and shit that I had to move through. You know what I mean, so we have a lot of karma coming up right now, guys. And this is the opportunity to really just stand firm and we're, whatever kind of conflict we have in our heart, we got to feel it. We got to face it. And, and, this Jup this Jupiter Mars uh, Pluto T square with the nodes is bringing up all the very core shit that we haven't looked at that we haven't wanted to look at that we need to address now because on the other side of that there is a beautiful world that 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 the universe wants us to create right from our heart space but our heart and our mind have to be in complete alignment and this is a process that's been going on for a long time and it's going to solidify itself i believe personally according to the astrology late 2025 beginning of 2026 that's where that that's when our hearts will be completely open that's when we're going to access all these deeper gifts like telepathy telekinetics all these cool things that we've had access we have that access to because it's been suppressed but now we're gaining access to and we're going to be do it like it's going to change the way everybody lives um, for the people that choose to face and embrace this unknown part of themselves, because a lot of this 10 years ago, you'd be talking about this stuff and you'd be, people would think you're nuts. They would think that you need to get on medication or something. But of course, you know, the pharmaceutical industry, they're, they're, they're getting hit hard. They're coming down because nobody like only the people that refuse to look at themselves in our, in our, in our, are drinking the Kool-Aid. And a lot of people, you know, th there are still are a lot of people out there that are drinking the Kool-Aid, unfortunately, but it's going to get very, 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 very difficult for them. And it's going to get so difficult that these entities, these corporations are going to create these places where, OK, just come here and you can live here and we'll take care of you. Kind of like them, kind of like the military. Right. They're going to say you're going to have to take this medication, you have to do this, you're going to get paid this and it's all going to be controlled and you're, and you're not going to have to do anything. Well, what kind of life is that? That's being a slave, right? They're creating a slave state. And that's what these 15-minute cities are. And that's what all this shit that they're trying to do is. Um, so we are the counter to that. We are the ones that are creating this new place. But we have to be willing to embrace the higher version of ourselves that is inherently within us, right? We are so powerful. 
But to access that power, we have to clear the fear. Okay. So this next week, for the next seven days, I highly encourage you, if you're feeling off, if you're feeling lost, you know, contact me, let's do a reading or, you know, connect with someone that you feel like you can be vulnerable with and talk to them, uh, share these things that you're feeling, even if it doesn't make any logical sense, even if it's like, I don't know why I'm feeling what I'm feeling. I just need to get it out. I just need to talk, open up that throat chakra, right? Clear it out because the heart chakra, you know, goes to the throat chakra. And then that opens up the third eye and the crown and allows new information. It's like, use the throat chakra as a pressure release valve. As you speak about it, it clears out the heaviness of the energy. You may not know why. You may just start crying out of nowhere. You may just suddenly feel like you're going to do something different or something else. And when that comes through, that's that's releasing the pressure off your soul. Because right now, it's the, the heaviness of the soul that is carrying the weight of the fear that is making us feel shitty. You don't need to feel shitty anymore. We need to honor our heart and live from the heart space. And when you live from the heart space, that's Christ consciousness, right? So for the Christians out there, you know, this is 100% following Jesus, all right? And every other religion has their own way of saying and doing it, right? Because Christ taught about living through the heart. And that's what we're learning how to do right now. And there is no choice, really. Well, there's two choices. To face the fear, move through it, and live through the heart authentically and be vulnerable, or choose to allow your fear to consume you and let the outside world dictate how your life is in its entirety. There is no halfway anymore. There is no trying to trying to make it, you know, a certain way or half this and that. This is you're either going to face your shit and live in your truth and create, be a conscious co-creator of your reality, or you're going to allow the outside world to create your reality for you and you're going to feel this emptiness, this void in your heart for the rest of your life. How much am I reading? So a uh, 30 minute reading is 111, 60 minute reading is 222 and 90 minute reading is 333. On the link that I have on my Instagram, uh, I only have a 30 minute option. I'm still learning that scheduling system, but you can just message me and we can just handle that directly. Okay, Lindy. Um, thanks for that question. And, um, you know, we can get a lot done in 30 minutes, but you know, sometimes we need more time if we get in a really deep, you know, part of the subject. And I can, I do, um, I do uh, solar return charts, birth charts, progress charts, uh, composite charts, uh, synastry charts, relationships, astro cartography, which is, you know, if you're looking to move to a new location, what that, you know, is going to look like for you there. Uh, we can look at your medical astrology, what parts of your body may be affected by the things that are blocked. We can look at all kinds of stuff. Okay, so really, whatever your intention is for wanting to learn the reading, I got you. All right. So thank you guys very much. I um, just want to come on here today and uh, try to, you know, get this information out because I feel like it's really, really important. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's all face our triggers and, um, you know, come into this new world, you know, together in a better way. All right. I love you all very much. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye.